Hey there, crafty friends. It's Hannah Thoodlebug and Jazz from Indiana. And man, do I have a great what's new at the Doodlebug today for you. So I think I've been telling you for like, what, a week now that we're going to get our Coco Vanilla order checked in and I have got it finished. So, um, you know, whenever you're doing conversion rates and all that good stuff, it's, it's, it wasn't as fun of an order to receive. So it just took me a little bit longer because honestly, I kind of procrastinated with a little bit over the weekend, but I tackled it yesterday and the line is amazing. And every time I started to look at the line and also compare, you know, what other stores are charging for their cocoa vanilla stuff as well. Um, well, then I would get sidetracked because I would start seeing ideas with the new line. So I have all kinds of great ideas saved for you guys. I'll get those posted in the next couple of days. But cocoa vanilla is checked in and it is beautiful. So cocoa vanilla is what is new today. Um, that is a scrapbooking line or paper line. They don't do stamps or anything like that. So whenever I show it to you, yes, it's going to work for my card makers too. But no, it's not stamps and dies. But it is beautiful paper, embellishments, um, little stickers, all kinds of fun stuff in that. And then we have a reorder as well too from the warehouse that does have some new goodies in it as well. So I know I'm coming on a little early today. Not too much. Um, I'm leaving a little early today because believe it or not, oh, Senior night is tonight for baseball, so that way I can get home, get freshened up a little bit, um, take Miss Phoebe out, and then get there and not be running 10 minutes like, like I normally am because tonight I cannot run 10 minutes late. So anyway, I'm going to flip the camera around, and we are going to check out that cocoa vanilla. So, oh, cannot wait to show you. Now, cocoa vanilla is a line out of Australia. And because it's not something that I can just quickly, easily reorder, because honestly, the shipping was almost half of what everything cost. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, my gosh. Um, so I tried to order really deep on it. Um, but with that said, snag it, snag it, snag it while you can. All right. So first up, we're going to start with the papers. This paper here, uh, this is all part of the Happy Days line. Here's another thing. That's all I got in was Happy Days because apparently Coco Vanilla is so popular, they don't really have anything left. I tried to go on and order some of the older kits and older lines. Nothing, nothing left, nothing in stock. I mean, a, a random paper here and there, but like nothing. So um, that's exciting for me. I'm hoping it is a good seller for the store and I made a good choice and hopefully I didn't go too deep on it. Um, but this line, like I said, is called Happy Days. First one has this beautiful rainbow on one side, all these great little dots on the other one. And this one's called Rainbow Bright. Honestly, I think I would do like two to three pieces of that one because how pretty is that one? Next up, this one here is called, this one's going to be called Definite. No, Definitive. Definitive. Yeah, not, not Definite. Definitive. I can read. Just if I do it, don't, not so quickly. So Definitive. It's got all these great words on the front. And then the back cute kind of a blue a denim blue and all these little petite flowers next paper i'm going to show you is called lush blooms lush blooms has these cutie patootie little tiny strawberries let me put my finger there so you can kind of see little teeny tiny strawberries everywhere and then beautiful floral on the other side. And you're going to see this floral repeated a lot in this line and the embellishments. Next one. I don't know what about this one I like, but I got three packs of it. Oh, the back. <laughs> That's what I love. I'm like, why did I get three packs of some kind of citrus paper? This is called Juicy Fruit. So there's Juicy Fruit on one side, but... Oh my goodness, I love the juicy fruit on the other side. So you've got this great little mixed media look. You've got a very faint kind of grid pattern on the inside. Love that juicy fruit paper. Next one is called 
flutter by. La la la. Okay. It's got these cute little butterflies on one side and then little dots on the other. Next up is going to be a great little cut apart page. Cut aparts on one side. On the back, it's got a nice yellow gingham. This one is called Feel Good. So you can see all your fun little cut aparts there. And again, that gingham. So this one here is Feel Good. Next up. We have Little Blossom. Little Blossom has this teal and kind of asymmetrical polka dots on one side. And then these little bitty florals on the other side. See that one there, Little Blossom. And then the last one here, I did three packs of this one because of this side here with that great stripe pattern on it and oh my gosh so I found an idea the other day where someone took this paper and they just kind of cut in on these strips and then they rolled them back and they kind of did them in at you know different um different points in different lengths and it was so stinking cool. Beautiful, beautiful page. And like I said, I will get a lot of those ideas um, posted on the Facebook page here in the next couple days. But this one here was called Sunshine Lollipops. What a fun paper name that is. Sunshine Lollipops. All right. So that is the papers for Happy Days. Then let's go ahead and check out some of the other fun stuff. This here is the specialty paper. Yeah, you're getting a little glare, but you're also getting the foiling. So this is specialty paper with gold foil. Look how pretty those are. Then we've got chipboard titles. Chipboard titles are $6.99. We've got the little mini puffy alphabets. These always go really well. I did not order enough of those snag them snag them in the video because i did not order enough of these i can just already tell and again oh no hold on ah uh, yay there we go shoo i was just like hannah marie what weren't you thinking puffy alphabets go great around here and these look how small they are they are beautiful so this one here is the mini puffy alphabet that matches the line uh, we do have collection kits. I didn't order too many since we were ordering all the papers in multiple. So if we run out, then we can just, you know, assemble one for you. But this one has 16 double-sided 12 by 12 papers. Um, so two each of eight designs. So you're going to get two each of the papers I just showed you, plus the coordinating sticker sheet, which I'm going to show you right now because I got those in open stock. Here is your coordinating sticker sheet. So you've got all kinds of fun little tabs, journal spots, little verbiage stickers down at the bottom. So that is the accessory stickers. Those are $4.39. And that would also come in the collection kit. So the collection kit is just going to be two of each of the papers and then also that sticker sheet. Other things then in the line, this one here is the floral ephemera. So look at those beautiful flowers. I told you you're gonna see those flowers repeat. This should be the same thing. Yeah, there's all the floral ephemera. This one here is the die cut ephemera. So look at all the cute little die cuts that are in here. These are $6.99. And let's check them out real quick. Aha. Uh -huh. You've got strawberries, you've got little pinwheels, you've got frames in here, a little bicycle, a little die cut, kind of uh, looks like it has been um, sketched, it says happy, and we've got days, cute little fringy banners, some of those juicy fruits, some little tickets, 
all kinds of great little ephemeras in there. Look how fun, fun these are. So lots of great little die cuts in that pack there. So again, that's the Happy Days um, die cut ephemera. And then there's also the floral ephemera, which is beautiful as well. Um, next up, we've got the little puffy hearts. Yep, puffy hearts is what it's called. Puffy hearts are five sixty nine. dollars Look how adorable those are. And they're all shimmery. Cute little puffy hearts. Then we've also got puffy stickers, which are little hearts, little puffy hearts here. So cute. And then we also have an A5 paper pack. And that is right here. So that's going to be very similar to what I just showed you. A5s are $9.99 for the paper pack. Okay. And let's just flip through it real quick. Looks like they are single-sided. So nothing double-sided. Wanted to see how they did the rainbow. Oh, that's really cute. Really cute how they did the rainbow in there. All right. So there is your A5 paper pack. So that is the new Happy Days line from um, Coco Vanilla. If you want it, I want it all, just tell us you want it all and we'll get everything pulled. We did get one additional thing in from them. This was from an older line, but they just had good colors. There wasn't anything really left else of the line. And it's just one of their little mini puffy alphabets. And this one is called These Days Mini Puffy Alphabet. It is bigger than the one for Happy Days, okay? So you can kind of see the size difference there and a little bit with the color change there as well, too. Still nice and bright, but it doesn't have those purples in it. So that was the only other thing I ordered from uh, another release. All right, so there is Coco Vanilla, my friends. Hopefully you're loving that as much as what I do. Um, and then for our restock order from the warehouse, we got back in the Be Happy stickers from Echo Park. We finally got in the ephemera for this line. There's only two on the table, so I am betting that we have already pulled all the special orders for this. There you go, checking all that out. We got back in the frames and tags. We were able to assemble a collection kit, and then we also got in the coordinating solids. This line was totally wiped out on the shelf, so it is looking much better over there now. Another thing that came in for the photo play, Hello Lovely, we got in the ephemera for that. Again, there's only three on the table, so and I know I ordered a bunch more, so if you asked for Hello Lovely, that should already be pulled for you. And I know this um, technically came in, I think, Friday, and then um, it got checked in yesterday, but I pulled a couple of yours out already that we were trying to ship your order out yesterday. So some of you may be getting it today or tomorrow. So Hello Lovely Ephemera is back in stock. Leanne Buddy Bag is back in stock. Leanne um, is great for tools, paints, and ink pads. So Leanne is there. Uh, let's see here. Restock on the Plum Grove transfers, the rub-on transfers. These are just beautiful rub-ons. I think that even, that line is getting pretty sold down, but I think I will even continue to carry this rub-on set just because it's so delicate, so beautiful, and matches so many different things. That is a 12 by 12 rub-on sheet, and those are $7.29. And here's kind of a better little picture of the back without the front little label getting in the way. Do, do, do. For those of you that snagged some of the Boho Sunshine from Simple Stories that came in about a week or so ago, we do have a few more things um, that came in to match it. We usually will get whatever we got from Simple Stories first, and it just takes our distributor a little bit longer to get it checked in and then dispersed out to us. So we got in the sticker books. We got in the enamel dots. The enamel dots are really nice and bright. We got in the adhesive brads. And we also got in the washi tape. So adding it to that collection. Restocks here. 
Yay, I think this is the first time that this card kit has made it to the shelf. So this is the one from Paige Evans. I'm pretty sure all the special orders have been um, called already and pulled. So the Paige Evans card kits are back in stock. Again, this one here is not a card kit that has step-by-step -step instructions or anything like that, but everything is so coordinated so well, the cards do go together pretty easy. So you're gonna get 20 cards in here, four of each design. It says you get 84 stickers, all kinds of great stickers. You even get pop dots, you get your envelopes, you get a little um, sheet of washi tape, and you get 28 die cuts. That is $15.29 for all of that. So that's an amazing deal. So if you made all the cards, that's 20 cards with envelopes for $15, okay? I'm not a good mather in my head, but that's gotta be like, what, 80 cents each? You know, it's not a dollar. It's less than a dollar per card. So what a great deal that is for the value. Vicki Bootens, where to next? Again, this is another one. I think this one made it to the shelf one time. It's same thing. There are a few little inspirational cards on. Nope, do not answer. My little, my little Siri guy is in my ear saying, do you want to answer it? No, I don't. No, I don't. So hopefully if the video stalled there for you, it's because I had a call come in. Sorry about that. So this one here is called Where To Next. Another one of the card kits. And then I've got three new ones for you. Three brand new card kits debuting for the first time. These are from Violet Studio. Violet Studio is a new line, um, new little se section for Crafters Companion. So really excited about this. So this one says it has over 100 pieces. Let's check some of them out. 1029. I should have marked those up more. 1029 is your price point on these. All right, I'm going to do one-handed here. All right, so we've got a little bag of die cuts. <gasps> Look at those baby enamels. Are they not adorable? <gasps> Cute. Oh, Debbie, you've got it. Boho washi and sticker book. I'm pulling those in my little pile right now. Thank you. So little uh, pop dots in there, baby enamels. You've got some ribbon in there. Here are all kinds of, oh, look at those. Those are nice. You've got all kinds of papers in here. Love the colors on these, too. Really pretty. Okay. And then you've got some cards here in the back. Looks like these are going to be 6x6 six six cards. Now, friends, if you don't want to make these 6x6 six six cards, trim them down to four and a quarter by five and a half because I'm going to tell you a six by six card shipped here in the States will cost you more for postage. How do you get around that? You stick it in a five by seven envelope. Do not ask me why that works, okay? Um, but your six by six, you can put it in. Will that work? No, five by seven? No, it won't work because it's not big enough. No, never mind. That won't work. Dang it. I was trying to think of, I think it was the one size that you can stick in there and have a little bit left over. Shoot. Nope, that won't work for you. So, all right. What you can do, do them as a six by six. You are going to pay a little bit more because it goes first class or just go ahead and cut these down to um, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then you'll just have the solids left over as good heavyweight cardstock. Debbie Hayes wants one of those. Six by six international is two ninety. Um, I wonder what what is it here, Debbie? Do you know though? Um, so that's if you're shipping to Canada, because I know you ship to Canada a lot. So Debbie's got that one. I wonder what six by six mailed here is. I bet it's like a dollar then, probably like a dollar nine, something like that. So again. You do not have to do it as a six by six, though. Just cut it down, or um, this can just be cards that you give. But Debbie wants one of those, so Debbie, I'm going to put that in my hold pile. That card kit for anyone going back and watching the video. Um, I don't even know what it's called. It just says card making kit, but we've got three different ones here. Miss Violet Studio. Um, well, we're going to call this the six by six one. Okay. All right. So we're going to call it just the six by six card kit from Violet Studio. This next one here, we're going to call it, 
Um, dun, dun, dun. We're going to call it the birthday because it looks like this one is going to be making birthday cards. And it makes six cards. You're going to get cute cards in there, die cuts. You've got some little pom-poms, some gems in there too. You can see those right here. There's your die cuts. So there's the birthday one. And then this one here looks almost kind of like a groovy. Yep, groovy love. Let's call this one groovy love. It's just got that kind of that groovy love font. So this is going to be more pinks and greens and oranges. It makes six cards. It's $8.29. You've got little gems in there as well, little pom-poms. So that's a fun little kit there. We got back in our Viking card kits. Flip those over. This is one of the 49 and market ones. Oh, you've got it, Miss Debbie. The 49 and market ones have the pre-printed envelopes that match. There's that one. All right, this is a new line alert here, friends. This is from Memory Place, and this is called Book Lover. So Book Lover is going to have a 12 by 12 kit. It's going to have an 8 by 8 kit, and it's also going to have ephemera. Oh, dang it. This is the one that uses the thinnest bags. And whenever we get these in, I feel so bad because I end up destroying the bag trying to open it up. All right. So Book Lover. I really like the colors on Book Lover. It's pinks, kind of, you know, yellowy colors and bluey teals. All right. So we're going to flip here. So you've got a fun little cut apart. Oh, it's got classic ones too, like Heidi, The Secret Garden. I loved The Secret Garden. Um, Anne of Green Gables. I never read that one. Drinking tea, reading books, be happy. This cute little owl. We're going to see him a lot in the line. Um, a little princess. I'd rather be reading. Once Upon a Time, um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So there's your cut apart. And then the back is just a great, looks like an old lined book page. So you've got, looks like two of that one in there. Oh, look at this paper. This paper just makes my heart happy. I love these flowers. I love the cluster. I love the teal border around the edges. So you can scrapbook on here. You can journal on here. You can put pictures and journaling straight on the page. It's a great page. And then on the back, it's kind of just a mixed alphabet. This is only going to come in collection kits. This is not going to be open stock. This cute one here, I love books. How fun is that? Oh, I love that little book border there. Little women. I'm a little princess. Can't tell what that one says. Um, Anna Green Gables, Heidi, Pride and Prejudice. Got great little titles along the bottom there. So there's that one. Here's another book page here. Great background on that one. Again, this line is called Book Lover. Oh, love this. I'm just a sucker for a good border like that. And then the back, just a good grid on the back. Cut apart page with pink dots on the back. All right, so there is the collection kit. Your 8x8 eight eight is going to be the exact same. And then your little ephemeras here. So we've got the little die cut ephemera pieces. Super, super fun. So there's that one brand new. And then let's see here. We've got restock on the rounded and braided rectangles. From Pink Fresh. Remember, this is one that you can use so many ways because the dies are um, split, meaning you can use just this outer one, okay, and then you could just make a solid kind of two rounded corner piece, or you could inset these two together and then you're going to create a piece that looks like what you see back here. You could even come along and do the next one down in there and it's going to make like a frame there we go if i kind of center that in there so you could do those one two three and create that frame or you could just do this one all by itself on the card and just get that detail into the card or 
wait, there's more. You could do kind of a reverse. You could do this one with that one on the outside, and then you're going to make like a window with a decoration looking into your card. So I love it when they do these separated ones like that because your possibilities are endless with those. And again, this was a new pink fresh one. I think this is our first order to actually make it to the shelf because this one is just so pretty and has been really, really popular. So this one's definitely a fun one. So rounded and braided rectangles. Restock on Vintage Artistry Countryside. There's that little guy there. I'm going to flip him over so you can kind of see the colors and everything on the back. Fun birthday verses. Oh, I will tell you, um, I am actually taking a class with this Sentimentally Yours company. It's going to be a couple months, but I'm really excited just to see some of the other products in their line. So this one here is fun birthday verses. These are always great because you get a big verse, little sentiment, big verse, little sentiment, two smaller sentiments, all for $10.39 for the whole thing. So that's always a great deal on that. Restock on our burlap stickers. These are not printed to look like burlap, friends. These are actual burlap die cut stickers. So those are stinking fun. You get uppercase and lowercase in there. And you've got numbers as well. Those are $6.89 for those. And we've got this one here is called Twilight is the font. Um, and you've got uppercase and lowercase. Again, these are a foam. And then numbers as well. Next up, we've got, this is a restock on the Spring Doodlebug Designs line. This was the Over the Rainbow line and the odds and ends. So all the fun little die cuts for this one. Remember this was kind of their culmination of spring, Easter, St. Patrick's Day. So you've got hearts in here, you've got leprechauns in here, you've got bunnies in here, and you've got just good summer, spring shapes in there as well. Um, rainbows, clouds, all kinds of little animals in here, trees. There's a cute little tractor being driven by a gnome. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Um, this one here, the little sprinkles that came back in stock are called Spring Garden. Super cute. In our DIY um, section of the store, we ran out of these stickers. So they're from Paper House. They've got lots of dimension and texture to them. So like the tools are foiled. The under construction actually has a real twine there on them. Um, we've got the little tool belt that says handyman, um, under construction, the drill, paint, gloves. Uh, there's a level tape measure toolbox and then a before and an after. Handyman sticker, you've got it, Miss Debbie. Adding that to my pile of goods over there. Tim Holtz. Just his classic seven inch titanium scissors. Love the scissors. I've had mine for years. Mine has a red handle, so yours may too. Um, if you have not used these before, they've got a great, nice, oversized grip. Um, and that kind of helps it be a little bit easier to open and close. It has a titanium blade in here, and they are serrated. So that means one side will have a little bit of texture when it cuts. And if you don't want to see that texture, most of the time, I don't even notice it, friends. Literally flip the, flip the scissors over, and so the texture hits from the underside, and then you won't even see it on your project, okay? Restock on these. These are the four-pack of the Cutter Bee scissors. I know it says herb scissors on here. This is the same scissors we have been buying for the past 20 years um, singly, except this one does not have the little protective sheath on it, okay? Um, so right there, uh, where are they at? Oh, 22, 29. So you get four scissors for 22, 29, whereas normally you get one scissor with a protective sheath for like 12 bucks. So much better deal this way. I, I mean, that protective sheet can't be that much, but I don't know why. But these are technically in their garden line. But I have asked, I have used these, and I have given them these away at crops, and they work just the same as the regular. So there is no difference at all. Okay? 
Next up, restock on our paper files. You get three in here. These do not have a very big gusset, so it is gonna fit multiple papers, but it's not like it's gonna fit 25, 30 per single one. But these are nice just for individually storing things um, and smaller collections. Now this one here I did get in because again, I am still looking for the perfect carrier for that one gal. This does have, so this has got, what is that, like a little bit over an inch, inch and a quarter. And then it's got a little bit of an accordion feel to it. So then that way, sorry, this, accordions are hard, single-handed. There we go hold it that way so you can see you can fit all different kinds of lines in here and it does have a nice little accordion fold out this way as well too so it helps it to expand a little bit for you and makes it really easy to flip through and find what you need so that's called the expandable organizer from cropper hopper that one is 17 uh, next up just more of our trimmer blades came in back in stock from Fiskars. These are the titanium ones. The titanium ones are supposed to last a little bit longer than the regular ones. They do cost a little bit more because of that, but they're supposed to last quite a bit longer, uh, but they still will fit in your triple track, just the same as the other ones do. So those are back in stock. Six by eight refills for our snap binders back in stock. And then this little guy here. So this works in the Karen Buddy Bag. So the Karen Buddy Bag is great for storing your stamps and dies. So the dimensions on these are six by seven and a quarter, or sorry, seven and a half. So, you know, great for your regular size stamp sets. And then that way you can slide them in there. And then these will go into the Karen Buddy Bag, which is right here. So to give you kind of an idea, you can see those in there. This one here has got the little dividers in there as well. There's one right there. So you can kind of see that bag. Let me flip it over and see if there's any additional pictures. Nope, there's not. But let's see if there's any on here. Barbara Terry Becky. All right, so this one here, I don't know if they have this one anymore, but it was called Crazy for Card Making. Um, but it the only difference was is it gave you a Karen bag with some of those inserts I just got in. That's that's the only difference, okay? So it gave you the die storage cards and stamp storage pockets that I just got in, and then also the Karen bag. But there you can kind of see, there we go, how those would fit in there. So these are great. For storing your stamps and dies. It says it's perfect for cards and envelopes, stamps and dies, and embossing folders. So there we go. All right. Debbie, yes, six by eight snap refill. I will pull it. Perfect. Okay. And that, my friends, is all she wrote. So what a fun day today was, though. I was super excited. I know I came back here earlier and I told Leslie, I'm like, oh my gosh, today's live is going to be so much fun. I mean, Coco Vanilla love it. I love that new book lover line uh, for my card makers. We got in three brand new card kits and then restocks on two um, that have sold through every single, single time we've got them in because they're just, they're, they're good and they're a great value as well too. So lots of great reorders today. Finally getting a little caught up on that Be Happy line from Echo Park. So all kinds of great stuff. So if you jumped on late, soon as this post live, make sure you watch it so you can check out that Coco Vanilla line at the beginning because, oh, I, I love it. It is stunning. And I'm super excited um, to be able to bring that to you because there's not a lot of stores in the States that carry Coco Vanilla because, again, it's an import from Australia. So I know it's a line that's a little bit harder for you guys to get a hold of. So hopefully it goes well and we can continue that relationship with them um, for their next release and the next release and the release after that. So um, coming up this week, I know that my 49 and market order is also supposed to be here in the next couple days. So that's exciting. We're supposed to have a Spellbinders order here on Thursday. So we'll have um, plenty of class kits for Saturday for the big Glimmer Live class going on live in the store. You want to sign up for that. I think I've got, I think maybe two extra kits coming in that order. 
um, because I've got a couple girls that want kits, but they don't need them for the class date. They're going to do it later on their own at their leisure, not watching it live. So I can use their kits from that order if I need to. So if you want to join in the fun, I would love to have you. Um, so, all right. Well, I better skadoodle because by the time I get out of here and get home, um, it's going to be cutting it close because I'm going to be running 10 minutes late anyway. So tonight is senior night um, for the boys' baseball. Again, if you join late. So <sighs> it's just everything's going so quickly. So, yep, I know. It's just it's, it's heavy on this mama's heart. But, you know. It is what it is. So, all right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and watching and checking the fun stuff. Thanks for those of you that ordered from the live. The rest of you, you can always, if you're watching on replay, you can always put it in the comments. I try to go back and, you know, catch those. And then this will also get posted to YouTube as well. But all of this is live on the website. So you can always shop there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all that good stuff at www.thedoodlebuckinc.com. So until next time, you guys have an amazing, amazing evening and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.